Today we're going to talk about factoring. And we're going to start off with finding the greatest common factor, which um, I'm sure you've done before, you just might not have known what you're doing. So when we find our greatest common factor, we're going to write the number, and we're going to list all the numbers that divide evenly into that. So our first example is going to be with 18 and 30. So if we go through the list of numbers, we know that 18 is divisible by 2, by 3, and by 6. 30 is divisible by 2, 3, 5, and 6. So when we find the greatest common factor, we're finding the largest number that we can pull out of both of these. And it has to be the same number. So if you look, they both share a 2 in common, but that's not the greatest common factor. They both share 3, but that's not the greatest common factor either. But they both share a 6, and since that is the largest number that they are both divisible by, evenly divisible by, 6 is our greatest common factor. Okay, so we're going to do a couple more examples, and then we're going to talk about the greatest mo common monomial factor, which has to deal with monomial or er, binomial expressions and factoring out a monomial. So we're going to list these two numbers the exact same way we did before. And we're just going through all the numbers that are e that evenly divide into 28 and 49. So 28 is divisible by 4 and 7 and that's it. 49 is divisible by 7, and that's it. So that means that our GCF is the biggest number that they are both evenly divisible by, which for this one happens to be 7. So this is our last example for greatest common factor. So 48 is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. 72 is divisible by 2, 3, 4, four 6, 9, eight, nine, and twelve. And I actually forgot one more for forty-eight. Because if you divide forty-eight by four, you get twelve. So that means it's also evenly divisible by twelve. So as you can see, twelve is going to be our greatest common factor. Now, if you're not sure how I got all of these numbers, all I did was went down a number line and figured out which numbers are 48 and 72 are evenly divisible by. Once you get used to finding the GCF, it'll be easier to list the factors out, but um, until then, sometimes it's just guess and check work. So now we're going to switch gears and talk about the greatest common monomial factor. So it has the same idea as finding just the greatest common factor, but we're talking about expressions, polynomial expressions, and what we're trying to do is figure out what is the largest monomial factor that we can pull out of both. So the way we're going to approach this is we're going to, this is how you write, oh my bad, um, when we factor this out, 
what we're going to do is we end up doing reverse distribution. So we're going to have a number here and then a expression in the parentheses. So we're going to look at each one of these terms, 12 and 15, each one of these parts of this term. So we're going to look first at the um, the coefficients, which are 12 and 15. And if we list those factors out, 12 is divisible by 2 and 3 and 4 and 6 and 15 is divisible by 3 and 5. So we can pull out of 3 of both of these. So what we do is divide each number by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we're going to outside is going to be a 3 and then it's going to be a 4 something plus a 5 something. Now we look at the second number or term which is a. We have an a cubed here and an a here. So what is the largest term that we can pull out of those two a terms? Well, we can pull out an a. And then if we have a if we have an a out here, a times how many a's will give us a to the third? Well, if you remember our exponent rules, this needs to be an a squared because when we multiply, we add our exponents. And this right here, since we've divided by an a, there's going to be no a right there. Then we're going to do the same thing with b. We're going to look at the b term, and we're going to decide how many b's we can pull out of both of these terms and have it divide evenly. So this is b to the 1 and this is b to the 3. So all we can take out is a b. And here, the same thing. If you have b to the 1 and you divide by b, you're going to have no b's left in this term. And for this one, using our exponent rules again, we know that this has to be b squared. So we're going to do one more example with greatest common monomial factors. So here we have a trinomial, but the process is going to be the same as it was before. We're going to have a number, a monomial out here and some expression inside these parentheses. So the question we always ask ourselves when we solve, when we factor a binomial or a trinomial or any polynomial is what is the biggest number I can pull out of each one of these terms evenly. So 13, as you guys probably know, is a prime number. It's only divisible by itself and 1. And if you double check, 26 is also divisible by 13 as well as 39. So we can pull out a 13 from each one of these and we're going to get with 1 plus 26 divided by 13 is 2 plus 30, er, sorry that should be a minus, minus and 39 divided by 13 is 3. And then this has an m, an m squared, and an m cubed. So the largest amount of m's we can pull out of each one of these terms is just 1. So you're just left with 1 here. m squared divided by m leaves you with 1m. And m cubed divided by m leaves you with m squared. And that's all there really is to factoring. So that's all we're going to do today. But make sure you come back and watch when we're going to go over how to factor the difference of two squares.